Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and in today's video we will be discussing the squad management system and it looks decent I feel like it's missing some things but it's a good start and it's cool so let's get straight into it. Now they have a couple goals for improving the squad management system such as being able to provide an easy overview to see and manage squads in your team, being able to create or join a squad of your choice, seeing which squads your friends are playing and easily navigate through squads. Now we also have a video and an image that I will pop on the screen. It all looks fantastic. It looks so much easier to actually like navigate and get through the UX, UI, whatever. It's like so much easier and faster to manage. And I think that's just absolutely fantastic. And all the improvements look fantastic. They also introduce squad orders, which basically gives you XP for completing or defending ob objectives. And previously you didn't get any XP, but now, uh, a squad leader can ping an objective and then your squad mates are then able to confirm that order to work together as a squad. And again, if you do win, no, I mean capture or defend an objective, you will get additional XP. So that's great. PTFO, I hope you guys also enjoy what they've done with the squad management system here. I think it's missing a couple things such as being able to make private squads and being also able to kick players within your own squad. I do hope that they add to that. It's a great foundation though. So yeah, it's awesome. Also Penguin Slayer 2042 is back at it again. Great player, totally. I hope you all enjoy this video and bo boy. Uh, sound like a skill issue to my guy. Fucking hell. And Mandem's uh... just crashed. Weapons. Where? Right under. That's fine. I almost killed it. You know what I killed it with? Yep. 